The Chris Ninjago Crystallize the sets they're coming out in only three days. By the time I'm making this video, this is July Friday, July 29th. So only a few days on Monday we're gonna be getting them. So I cannot wait for this. I wish I made this video earlier, but I just had this idea. But without further ado, let's just jump right straight into this. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and leave a like as well. And whether you're new or old, please consider comment as well. And um, go into the description down below. There's a link to my eBay store if you'd like to check that out. We got some cool stuff, some um, PS3 video games there. We also have a PS3 for sale. And also just shoes and stuff. Um, a whole bunch of items that I will be putting out in the future. And there are some that are out right now. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you guys remember a few months ago, I did do a survey kind of well I didn't know it would I would use that video But it was the video of what Lego Ninjago crystallized set were you going to buy when they did come on June 1st first it was June 1st because we didn't know that it was going to change into August 1st But out of that there were lots of people who comment and thank you for all those who did comment but I was able to look at the top three, not only from that survey, but from other surveys that other channels have done. And I have narrowed it down to three sets, which I believe that will raise in price by next year significantly. Now, of course, this all depends on the show as well, how good the second part of Ninjago comes out. But I believe by the minifigure selection in these sets I'm about to give you makes the whole difference. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Coming in first place is none other than Jay's Dragon Mortar Bike. Retailing for $20, this set is amazing. It really is. $20, you're really getting a steal from LEGO here because the design is amazing. Don't get, don't, don't let me even get started on the minifigure um, that you get. The minifigures are just phenomenal, but just look at the vehicle itself. The big wheels are nice. I really like the design of that blue and gold. I really like how we have that Evo dragon head on there and how it can articulate up and down. It's just really amazing. It's a nice kid set. It's really nice. And now we jump into the minifigures. Phenomenal. Getting Dragon Form J this early in only a $20 set is a real treat for all you guys out there because um, I would think that J would have come in the more, more higher price set. But hey, I'm not complaining. At least we got him. It really looks nice. I really also like that Vengestone Warrior that you get as well. The detailing on both of them is just amazing. You also get a little of those little spider crystal spiders that you get as well and again everything looks amazing the wheels i love those wheels how they look just the whole design of this whole set makes it worth twenty dollars and in my opinion i would have even paid twenty four dollars for this or twenty five it just really really looks nice so this set comes in first place i estimate by next year this set would have raised up to 30 or if uh if you're kind of lucky you know 30 to 40 somewhere in between there but i would say that 30 should be a good sweet spot you could get this set you could sell this set for next year now moving on to second place is zane's dragon jet now 30 dollars Here's another steal right there. This is an amazing set. The detailing on it is just, uh, uh, it's, it's beyond description. The gold, the light blue, the white, the black, just all combines into this amazing jet that we have here. And in the trailer, we do get to see a little bit of what the jet can do. But it just really, really looks nice. I just love how um, everything about it, basically. Uh, there is also a kind of special uh, play feature in it as well. And, hey, it, it just looks amazing. Again, this is another set that I would pay more money for. But And then now we go on to the minifigures. 
Not only do we get Dragon Form Cold, Dragon Form Cold. Usually, when you're getting um, we're getting different ninja sh- suits. Cole and Nia are the ones that come in the most high price set. But now you can get Dragon Form Cole early at only thirty dollars set. Plus. Zane, a nice looking new suit Zane right there. I love the detail on his suit. And on top of that, the Skull Sorcerer with the Scythe of Quakes. It just looks amazing. I love the action packed that it comes with. The box looks awesome as well. All of the Ninjago boxes of Crystallize look amazing. I think those might be like the best right now. It just looks phenomenal. So now we go on to third place, retailing for $70. You already guessed it, the Crystal King. Not only have we not gotten a mech in a long, long, long time, okay? Not only that, but this mech has four legs, four wings, a huge weapon, which is longer than its body. It's got a tail, and not only that, it can actually hold a minifigure. This is what makes this set amazing. Really. Yes, we get five minifigures. Five minifigures. Okay, we get the Overlord, who, aka Crystal King. You guys should know that by now. We get two Vengestone Warriors, Hiromi in her crystal outfit, and Lloyd. Really? This is an amazing set. Um, for me, I would think I would go for a lower price. This is the like one of the sets I would say a lower price around 55 to 60. But hey, for $70, maybe by next year, this set might actually be 80 or more. You never know. And now quickly going back to um Zane's chat, I forgot to do an estimate. The estimate I guess for that set will be somewhere from 30 to 50. Somewhere in between there. Just how good design it is. But now going back to the Crystal King mech. It just looks amazing. It really does. Even though the sad part is that you can't really do any articulation for the legs. At least you can do it for the feet. And the arms, you can move that. The wings, everything. The sh- When you look at the show mech compared to this mech. They could not have gotten it any closer than that. Maybe they could. I really feel like... um. The set is a little downgrade from the actual thing in the show. But hey, at least we're getting something that can at least hold a minifigure. And it's been such a long time since we've gotten a villain's mech that's actually sturdy and that's actually good looking. You know what I mean? Because all the other ones we've gotten, trash. Total trash. Okay. But (laughs) this set looks amazing. 70 bucks. Hey, not that bad of a price. I'm okay with buying that. And actually, in that video where I was asking what Lego set would you be buying, I actually said I'm going to be trying to pick up this set. Yes, I'm not that close to, (laughs) I'm not nowhere close to picking it up. But hey, I'm going to keep on trying until I get that set in my collection. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I am Lego for Life. And please subscribe, like, notification bell, and comment as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.